To create this circular tenon, I'll be using a one and a quarter inch circle tenon template and a half inch spiral upcut bit. For my material, I have a one and three quarter inch square piece of stock with the center line marked on one face. And a quarter inch shoulder marked all the way around on the end grain just for demonstration purposes. Begin by installing the template on the multi-router. Then install the half inch router bit in your router. And adjust the router's depth of cut to match your planned tenon length. Next, set the in feed stop on the horizontal table so that the bit can't crash into the template. Align the two tables center to center by placing the stylus in the notch on the template. And then lock the horizontal table's left to right position in place. The vertical and horizontal table are now perfectly centered. Now, raise the vertical table and retract the position of the stylus. Align the center mark on your workpiece with the center mark on the vertical table and clamp it down. Then, lower the vertical table until the bit just kisses the top of the workpiece. Adjust the ruler until the indicator aligns with any quarter inch measurement on the ruler. I've set mine to one and three quarter inch. Next, slide the horizontal table out so the bit can clear your workpiece. While reading the ruler, move the vertical table down a quarter inch from one and three quarter to one and a half inches and lock it in place. The formula we use to decide how far to move the bit down to create an even shoulder on all four sides is simple. It's the thickness of your material minus the diameter of the tenon divided by two. My material is one and three quarter inches thick. Subtract my tenon diameter of one and a quarter inch and divide what's left by two. And we have a quarter inch. So now the edge of the router bit should align with the quarter inch shoulder mark on your workpiece. So with the height of the router bit dialed in, we just have to adjust the height of the stylus to begin writing along the template with the router bit remaining at this point. To do so, extend the stylus over the template and lower its position by rotating the brass knob until the bottom of the bearing meets the top of the circle tenon template and lock it in place. Then retract the position of the stylus and raise the vertical table. Slide the horizontal table forward against the stop and lock it in place. Lastly, extend the stylus until there is roughly a 1 32nd inch gap between the end of the stylus and the face of the template. At this point, we're now ready to cut the circular tenon on our workpiece. The last thing that you want to consider is if you're cutting multiple pieces of the same dimension, then you might want to add a scrap piece to act as your fence to speed up production time. Begin routing by moving the horizontal table left and right and the vertical table up and down. Take smaller passes around the outside perimeter first and then finish up by writing the stylus around the template until the rest of the material is cleared away. In just a few seconds, you can cut a perfectly round one and a quarter inch diameter circular tenon. You can also create two additional size tenons utilizing the same exact template by simply switching from a half inch router bit to either a 3 8 inch router bit or a quarter inch router bit. Using a 3 8 inch bit with a one and a quarter inch template will produce a one and 3 8 inch diameter tenon. Or use a quarter inch bit with the inch and a quarter template and now you can produce an inch and a half diameter tenon.
With four different circle tenon templates and three different router bits that can be used with each template, you can create nine different perfectly round tenons. With the one and a quarter inch template, here's all the sizes of tenons you can make. And here's the sizes with the one inch template. The three quarter inch template, and the half inch template. To create a mortise for the tenons, just use a matching Forstner bit over at the drill press. Each of the nine different tenon sizes, ranging from a half inch in diameter to one and a half inches, are an absolute perfect fit. The multi-router is a versatile joinery machine that will unlock your ability to create complex joinery quickly and accurately. If you're interested in learning what else the multi-router can do, then we have a playlist right here for you to check out.